Hello, I'm Mel. I'm socialmediatraffic.com. Here's how to make a logo for your website using GIMP, demonstrated and narrated by Library Girl in the Moon. Right, I'm going to show you how to make a simple logo using a few different layers put together in GIMP, which is the GNU Image Manipulation Program, which is a free program you can download from the internet. Um, we start by creating a new image. You can do that with the File menu and the New option, or by pressing Control N on your keyboard. Then you have some options you can set. I'm going to make an image that's 500 pixels square, 500 high, 500 wide and in the advanced options I'm going to choose that it will be filled with white. The X and Y resolution is already set to 72 pixels per inch which is ideal for something that will be viewed on a screen. And Then you click OK. Now I'm going to start by adding some text to the image so I use the text tool. Click on that and then click where you want your text to go. into the box here type what you want the text to say I'm not feeling very inventive so I think it will say text here and that will be some of the text of my logo now I can change the size of the text here either you can type it in or you can just use the up and down arrows and you can change the orientation so I would like it to be centered this text then I'm going to extend the sides of the text window out to the sides of the image so that the text is centered in the middle of the image and I'm going to move it up a little bit and you can also change the font by clicking on the two little A's there and you can choose all sorts of different fonts from the list and I'm going to pick one at random, there we go. Now I'd like to add some other text that I'm going to be able to edit differently so I click somewhere else and I can put something new in and underneath that I'm still not feeling very inspired so I think I'll just write logo. I'd like this to be in a different font so I click on font again and pick to Homer, there we go and I'd like this to be a bit bigger still there we go move it into the middle once again I want it centered there we go, it's remembered the last text was centered so I don't need to click that again and that's that for the text I want to have so I can close this window now what I'd like to do is add some design behind this text so I'll do that by creating a new layer in the image layers are like sheets of transparent acetate if you like you can see all your layers over here in this window and you can put them on top of each other and that determines which layer can be seen above or below which others so right click in this area and hopefully you should see a menu and click new layer the default for a new layer is that it's the same size as your main image and that it's transparent and that's what I want so I'm going to click OK and now I'm going to move this new layer underneath the text layers like that just drag it and then drop it where you want it to go in this layer I'm going to put some artistic swirls so I'm going to click on the brush tool then I'm going to choose the sort of brush I want here I want this sort of spotty one automatically that gives you something that looks a bit like this and it's sort of all spaced out and that's because the spacing here is set to 75 I don't want that spacing effect so I'm going to drag that down to 1 then I'll hit Control Z to undo what I last did and that will disappear I also want it to be a different colour so I click on the colour palette and pick one of these colours I was using recently that will do for me then I click OK then I make sure the layer I want to paint in is selected and then I paint away, there we go, ooh, like that I've actually decided that's a bit small so I'm going to get rid of that with Control Z and make it a bit bigger with the scale slider and you can see in advance how big the brush will be because it gives you a little outline so I think slightly bigger than that, that will do so now I'll paint again It's a bit slow because of the screencasting software going at the same time, but you get the idea. There 
There we go, so I'm happy with that. Now I can show you how layers work. You see, if I move it up here, the layer, it's above the layer that says text here, and so text here has disappeared because it's covered by this new smeary layer. If I move it right to the top, then all of the text has disappeared. So I'll put it back there above the background but below the text. Now, the last couple of things I think I'd like to do is to change the colour of the text. That's very straightforward. Just click on the layer you want to edit, click on the text symbol, click on the bit of text you're dealing with, and change the colour here in the text window. I think I'll make that one sort of golden colour. And then logo, I think I might make white. There we go, close that. And it's not very beautiful, but I think that'll do for the logo for now. So what I'll do is I'll save it using the File menu and Save, or you can click Control s And first of all, what I'm going to do is save it as a GIMP file so that I can come back and edit it again. So I make sure I've checked GIMP image under File Type, and I'm also going to choose to stick it on my desktop rather than in my pictures get rid of those and I can click Save and then if I want to save it for using as a little logo on a website I'm going to scale it slightly smaller I don't need 500 pixels wide I'm going to make it 100 pixels like that and then hit scale and then I'm going to save as to save it in a different format it's remembered I wanted it on the desktop but this time I want a different file type, so I click there for the drop-down list, scroll down a bit, and there, see, I can save it as a JPEG image. Click on JPEG, click Save, and then it asks me, do I want to change the format of the image, because it has to be, the layers have to be all um, stuck together for a JPEG, so I say, yes, that's fine, please export it and then what quality do I want? You can slide that around, change the file size and the quality, but I'm happy with the default, so I click Save. And that's it. If I have a quick look at my desktop, I've saved it there, we can open it up, and hopefully we'll see my nice little logo ready for me to insert into whatever I want, it, want to insert it into. Social media traffic for tips and strategies, get free instant access, go now to my website, imsocialmediatraffic.com.